All right, we're going to continue our series. We're going to talk about how to decorate the interior of our house. Um, as I suggested earlier, you may want to focus on just having students decorate one, two, or three rooms to make it simpler, and that way they can focus a little bit more on their design. Uh, often the living room and a bedroom is a good suggestion. It also has a lot to do with the model that they selected. So if you recall in our model, uh, you know, we had a couple big rooms and maybe I just want to make a really big open space. Now I noticed there's no kitchen and possibly you could build a kitchen with some of the assets in this software. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to focus on a living room. Okay. And one of the things I would encourage you to do before students start doing the hands-on component, I included a video with uh, uh, five design principles to consider and I would have students watch that before and it focuses on some concepts like emphasis, balance, um, proportionality, uh, a theme uh, and you know I, I think that you know having some kind of design idea before you go in before you just start dropping random objects is a good idea. Now one of the issues maybe with Twin Motion, they do have a very good library, but you're limited with what is in there. So probably, you know, under the home section, you just have to go with whatever is there, but try to make it work uh, for yourself. So I won't spend too much time in here, but you know, like, let's just say I wanted to drop this sofa uh, and I'm going to place it, you know, so students have to use what's there. There's a lot of color, which is a good thing. So they could spend a little bit of time uh, on that and you know maybe you know they, they'll notice the okay some of these do match some of them don't so like if they put this big piece and they might right away there's a design you know design wise and let's just see if some of these have color no they don't unfortunately not yet but maybe let's just have a quick look for fun can we change the material we might be able to uh let's just drag anything not glass let's go wood let's see if i drag oh so yeah you can change the look with some of the material so that's a real huge bonus and um, i'm just going to put this off to the side for now obviously this doesn't look really good but um you know students and you will have a little bit more time and what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to go drop a television set on here and one of the things that uh, you can do with a tv is you can actually add uh, a video to it if you want to, okay? Uh, I won't show you how to do that in this uh, series, but if you want to look at I have another series that shows how to do that um, to create a video. There is a basic video that you can just, let's just go here, and I'm just going to drop a wall TV on here, and I will just show you um, the video section is under materials, because uh, it is a material, believe it or not and there is a video so you can just drop it right on there that makes it look a little bit better it doesn't really matter for this tutorial and you know the next thing that i would probably do with students is have them consider having accents you know like maybe like a table or or um there there's a bunch of tables here um and i don't these are kitchen is that a kitchen no that's that's what i want and again that's what i was saying there's a little bit of a limit the item so it kind of uh, restricts their design a little but now these two work together so I would encourage them to go back and forth and look at the uh, information in the design document that I have uh, included with the, uh, the lesson so just to keep going like that to decorate the different rooms and I'm going to just show a couple other uh, features that are uh, worth looking at so under the living room section, there are uh, some interesting decorative choices. You get plants, you know, maybe I want to drag a plant uh, in there. I'll just show one or two here. And maybe also I have a wall uh, decoration. So right over here, maybe uh, I want to put this on my table. Oops, just trying to move here. Okay, and I will put this on this wall. Just like obviously that doesn't look good there but just to show you that those are some of the assets that they can go and get there's quite a bit in here so you know they can take their time and find some kind of decorative elements to create that balance there's an interesting carpet i wouldn't put that in there but depends what the design is so one of the things students may want to do is explore 
some of the items before they just start dropping stuff. And, you know, in each section, you know, there's a nice library here that fits. Uh, I'll just put it underneath there. Obviously, it's too, too crowded, but it gives you a sense of what's available. And again, same as last time, there are some stuff in the Quixel Asset Library, but just to be careful because there is not, uh, you know, I think there's a building, balcony, uh, there's an indoor version in here. Where is it? Oh, interior. And let's say wall. Let's see what we got. Well, there's not a lot in here yet. And most of these are kind of like uh, scan antiques. There's a fireplace, which is, again, you can't just drag this in. You have to be logged in, if you recall. Uh, right down here and I am logged in so I can see that and I can drag this fireplace in and uh, the first time it takes a little bit longer and now obviously my design is not very good I am just kind of trying to show you and students should take the time to try to balance uh, create some contrast to have uh, whatever they are going in uh, have a sense of harmony uh, a tip that I may have not mentioned it when you press the F key it zooms you right on to something and you know this is kind of old and not that great looking but let's just see if we can change the materials again that's often a really powerful way to make things look really good uh, let's just go with stone here let's just see now unfortunately it comes in as all one mesh so you can't do that you're gonna have to take it the way it is all right so uh, and I'll just show you another thing that's really cool too um, there are particles in here and so if I wanted to have a little fire I just have to remember where it is give me a second under tools no under objects particles so I don't know I would try to drag that in there and make it look like there's a fire so that works pretty good um, the other thing that's uh, you know you could even add ambient sound as if you were doing a walkthrough because you can by the way when you're done your house this is something i do with my students we have an oculus headset at our school and uh, i'll talk about this more in the handout but you just click and vr and boom you can walk around your house just like that and uh, students absolutely love that um, the last thing i would have you consider is lighting so lighting is a very important part of decorating we don't often think of that uh, but just you can see by just adding a couple of lights uh, and you know you can lower the intensity you can change the color uh, there's, there's a lot of really neat things you can do with light which is the thing I would have students consider uh, uh, as part of their design and it adds a lot to the interior so that's about it for the interior so I recommend that you have students do a couple rooms and uh, we're going to focus in our next video in how to uh, showcase and present all this. Okay, if there's any questions, please let me know. Thank you.